Hello, my name's Andrea Herman, and I'm originally from Joplin, Missouri, where I actually met Stephen Hager for the first time at the Heads versus Feds tour. I have proceeded to be up in Canada now for the last 15 years, uh, working and studying industrial hemp and sharing it on a global framework to uh, increase knowledge of industrial hemp cultivation and acceptance of cannabis. So you're the most knowledgeable person on hemp cultivation in America, is that true? Well, I'm claiming to be the first lady of hemp, so yes, I've spent a lot of hours in the field and working with hundreds of producers in Canada and around the globe to bring industrial hemp cultivation, whether that be on an economy of scale being small or all the way up to looking at, you know, helping to produce 70 some odd thousand of acres in Canada with, a, you know, a network of contractors and producer groups. So, um... What do you think about hemp houses? Love hemp houses. We're talking about hemp creek, for instance. It's a blend of hemp herd, the inner core of the plant, and lime and water. These homes are fire resistant, mold resistant. They have great thermal and latent heat properties, which means that your house is essentially going to be very energy efficient and it creates a living, breathing wall, which we typically don't think about our homes as living and breathing units. But in a hempcrete home, that wall actually needs to breathe so that it gives you the security of living in a healthy home. Where would I go if I wanted to build a hempcrete home? And how, how complicated would that be? It's actually not very complicated at all. Um, hempcrete as an infill is not a structural part of the house. So you still need a structural frame. And then essentially all you need to do is go to hemptechnologies.com and you can place your order for your herd and your binder, bring it to your job site, get your mortar mixer together, add your water, and then start packing your walls. So it's actually pretty simple. Does it compare favorably cost-wise with a, like a typical frame house with, uh, you know, Know, the site poor boarding and all that crap yeah, actually now we have been able over the years to really get the price down to where we're almost comparable to a traditional built or a toxic built six syndrome home house. Even though it may be a few more dollars per square feet, you're making those dollars back per annum with energy savings. And we've seen some of these houses energy savings as low as 75% a traditional built home at the same square footage. And that is massive when we're talking about the dollar use. And what we say is it's not about you know we're about building smart income homes so how can I take your income on to help you build a smart home that actually saves you money in the long term with your income and that's what I call building smart income homes um, what what are the, what's the most promising application of hemp that you see on the horizon Oh, well, I definitely think building and construction is a major because of the fact that we have so many renos that need to be done in this house and so many in this in the United States, particularly and around the globe. And we have so many homes that are infested with mold and these are causing health problems beyond anything that we actually see. And if we look at schools where our children are going that have mold growing on the walls, you talk about coming in and helping remodel those schools with hempcrete and putting our children in safe learning environments where they're breathing clean air then of course on the food side of things because we all need essential fatty acids and highly digestible proteins and this is a plant that can help us build our home so we can harvest the grain off to take for food and then we can use what's left over depending on the cultivar to build houses or to use an animal bedding or to sequester cellulose or to provide energy by um, burning that material in a system that's going to actually feed energy back into the home.